concepts of awe is uh, Emuna, right? So maybe sure. we sing an Emuna song. Yeah, I agree. Right? Go yeah, for it. Ani ma min ve'emuna shelema bevi adam ashiyah ani ma min ani ma min ve'emuna You sing when you're like, wow, that's brilliant. But so, actually, it's yeah. singing on Mashiach, and it's, it's, it's very it's, appropriate. It's by crazy way. because um, sang, because I, I, I saw I saw a video. I don't know if you saw it. There was a video. There's a video floating around of. Uh, I'm sure you everyone's familiar with uh, Rabbi David Abu Chatzera. Sure, uh, so. huge Baba Sali's grandson who lives in Naria, uh, um, and he um, apparently. Uh, we just found, and he's not a young, he's not a young no, guy. He's 71 no. years old. He looks great, but he's 71 years old. Um, and it, I, I don't know if you, when you were with, when you went to go get him a bracha from him the last time you saw him, whatever it is, every single time, I mean, he's, the, he, I think he's host, he sees people, he does Kabbalah Kaha like two or three times a week. And when he does, he's literally standing the entire day. Wow. And the reason for it was is that because beforehand he used to sit at his grandfather, Baba Sali, came to him in a dream and said to him, Mashiach was by you today to come get a bracha and you were sitting down. Wow. Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, that means that Mashiach is amongst us. Yeah, I mean, I saw Rav Oresh said that Mashiach's here. So, I mean, they know the Siddiq in the storm. So, these, they, 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 know, they know behind the scenes, you know, so, the I'm, real BTS, you know. <laughs> But, and, but that, uh, all that means is that, so basically he said, okay, there's no way I'm going to be greeting Pnei Mashiach uh, sitting down. So now whenever anyone comes to him to get a bracha, he stands up. So I think we should we, will, we should discuss the idea of Yira, like in the right way, like as you said, the awesomeness and the awareness, the relationship, the healthy form of Yira, you know, the idea of all that anxiety and mental health challenges that people have. Obviously you can't just solve it by... You know, superficially discussing it, it's a very deep inner, you know, healing. But um, in, in a big way, we can channel that the fear that's increased so much in a in a false way, in a negative way, to bring it back to honoring Hashem, to honoring, you know, Torah, and also right now the soldiers are showing their gavura, their strength. Yes, by going into Aza right now as we speak, and my son included, Barkas of Masha, and all the other soldiers have in mind that they're showing the year being channeled towards. To Gavura, towards strength, might, and to Mohama, to to use it to defeat our enemies, and that's a very healthy form of Yira. I think it stems as everything else does. It all stems from our emuna, or lack thereof, right? So, it, our concept of emuna is knowing and understanding that everything that happens in the world that the Kodesh Baruch Hu does is for our best. Now, it's right. it's, it's a dip, it, it's difficult when things go in a way where 
our minds tell us that it's not our best. But that's that that's that level. That's that switch where who knows better, right? Right. And and I believe, and there are a few people that I know that for the most part, like even when things go badly, they're like, "Thank you, Hashem." No, I mean we talked about it before. The kids uh, talks about you got to thank a Kodesh Baruch Hu for the for the bad, just the way you think, and for the good. But um, it, it's really what those people that live with a sense of emuna. And uh, their yira is right because it's an emuna that stems from love, oh. that comes from a kaddish baruch It's it's that dvekut that you want. It's our need and desire to emulate a kaddish baruch in whatever way we possibly can. And that in of itself, when you love somebody, you want to be like them. Yeah, and you want to protect that relationship. Correct. That that responsibility to look after the closeness that Rosh Hashanah has been talking about. Closeness you have with Hashem is the key to everything else in Yiddishkeit. And the See, beautiful thing is yeah. that everybody has, everyone has different ways to get that closeness to a Kodesh Baruch whether it's sitting down and learning for three hours, sure. or it's hosting people at your table. Or even davening, right? Right, right. right. People are telling me today they're going to go to Kavara, they're going to go to Hebron, this, that. And her friend is up north and, you know, all the different farm up there. Her son's in Tavaria right now, driving around um, from the Yeshiva boy, Aaron Yosef. So it says in Pirka Avos, because we learn during the summer, we get an extra like, right, push from Pesach yeah, till, till Shavuot. Shavuot, so some continue Extended, even till, yeah. till Rosh Hashanah. The idea the whole summer months is we need that extra like Chizuk and Musa. So the second parrot, which is this week, Rabbi Tarfin says, a Yom Kotsa, the day is short. So anyone working with just one Chesed knows that more than most people. A Malach Maruba, the task is abundant. The poem, the laborers are lazy. Yeah, like it's not, all, not all. No, I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about <laughs> no, I'm talking about the the bureaucracy you have to deal with trying to like get through the airports, all this stuff to deliver, and that's the ones. You know what I'm saying? All the maniers, all the holding up. Yeah. The schahar bay, and the reward is great. The balabayas dochik, and the balabayas, the one who's pushing us to do all these mice in terms, all this kindness to to bring kindness to the soldiers and keep it up, keep it going. He's pushing us. He's insistent. He's not letting us slack off. We need that. Yeah. We need that. And that's we a good mission. I think that gives a lot of encouragement to the fact that now he's using Yira as a healthy push to do the right thing. So Yira doesn't mean that, oh, well, if you don't keep Shabbat, you know, you, you go into H-E-double, d- yeah. double hockey sticks, right? Yeah. Like it's not, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that that, that's not what Yira is. That is Pacha. That's flat out. Yeah. That, that's trying to scare somebody. And I, I feel like in today's generation that, that doesn't necessarily work as well as, you know, the concept of love and showing the beauty uh, of the religion and showing the beauty of what we're actually doing. And you see it amongst the soldiers all the time. Yeah, you're with I was so I got so emotional when I saw the, the videos of the the, the soldiers just getting ready to go in, getting ready to go in and make you eyes. Like, I Unbelievable. Can't. Yeah. Like, that's the reason why we're going to win you this. You saw that war. one with the tank going into Gaza, you know. And yeah. I mean, it's just like the scenes are beyond. I mean, my son sent us a video. Um, uh, he was actually a video call. He still has his phone somehow. And uh, we usually take it away. And he was with one of the soldiers came up. It was like, so, there's just such an energy between them all. And there's this gingy guy. He was like so happy. And they're like, you see how focused they are, but also how happy they are. To because they know that what they're doing and they're is also God's different. work. You know, my son's so different. Like he taught, he's been explaining to us over Pesach when he was back and forth from, you know, all the different back and forths of the, that's going on in the whole situation. And now thank God we're finally going in. They, he was explaining to us how different his unit is, like the culture and the, his experience and the conversations. You know, he's with a guy from India and he was saying that this guy grew up in Indian villages and the simple life. And it's, it's a different kind of person. He didn't have all the Western, you know, luxuries. So right. he's... He's coming into the army. He says that he's the best soldier, and he's so focused. He's he's so like on another level in his way he acts as a person. He hasn't had all this abundance that's made him soft. You know, he's focused. Right. And there's so many different stories like that. He's just I could go on and on that he's experienced being in an army of all different kinds. The Ukrainians that are in the unit and the, the supposed you know more like Tel Avivians or left wing they call it kind of families. And then you see them in the army and now. It's like a whole different world. So they open up to, he said, the Seder night was so powerful with all the soldiers. You know, it's beautiful. They, they all got to read a little bit. And they I, said, I think at the end of the day, from wherever, the, wherever they come from, yeah. they, 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 they know their mission and 
They know what needs to be done. And that's part of their yira. That's part of their lack of fear. That's part of their lack of pachad. How many times has Baruch Yitzchak said, I don't, I don't care if I die. I need to, I need to do this. Yeah, I mean, law alayma, but, you know, it's never happened. Obviously, chas v'shalom, it should prepared. never happen. He's right. prepared. Right. And, 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 he's prepared right. to give and up it's not, it's, and he's not yeah. the only one. But they're all like that. How many of these, how many letters have we seen from people of, of, of soldiers who went in and they said, if you read this letter, it's a bit late, but please know an ABC, right? This unbelievable. It's really it's unbelievable. They're like they really are like the holiest of holies. Like yeah. such tzaddikim. They don't they don't. And the beauty uh, of it is yeah. they don't even understand how holy they actually are. No, they don't. And they they are our teachers. Like my son's name is Baruch Yitzhak. So it's blessed the one who's Yitzhak. Yitzhak is all about Kavura and Yira, right? Yitzhak. So he's using that with bracha with blessing. And my Rebbe's called uh, Menachem Yitzhak Menachem Bible. It's also. In that way of Yitzhak. There's loads of people around all the time. You meet people who have that Kavura, but they're using it like Yira, but they use it to, to serve Hashem. There are teachers how to use Yira in a holy way to honor Hashem. And, to, and Yisrael, Israel should have no fear. That's our title. They should know we shouldn't have any fear. The whole world. I know there's a lot of supposed like anti Semitism and all this supposed stuff going on. You see it on the news. And they, it's not supposed. It is. It is happening, but I'm saying it in why am I saying supposed? Because in the end, like, if we're truly with Hashem, we don't have to worry about it. All it we're already serving Hashem. So. I mean, I personally think this is a Kodesh Baruch Hu's way of telling the Western world that people, it's time to come home. Come home and wake up. Right. Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's waking Real up. Real waking up. Wake it's up. like, but yeah. Don't be woke, be awake. Yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, wake, Thanks for that fix. Uh, wake up. And I really think that a Kodesh Baruch Hu's trying to signal to everybody you know, I, I speak to family members and to friends in America, yeah. and, and and coming home is on their minds more. Yeah. But uh, it's not it's not exactly where you know we'd like it to be. But at the end of the day, you know, Shlomo talks about this in the in you know in, in the in the Tikkun Amdina Shir that he gives, um, and it's what what kind of Eretz Israel are we preparing for them to come to? That's it. Right. So it, it's it's on us. Right. It's on us. Who are here in Eretz Israel to do what we can to make the land of Israel the, uh, more attract uh, attractable to those people sure. in Chutzla Aris who are going to want to come. Um, and Bezat Hashem, we will we will see that we will see uh, we will see it soon and hopefully uh, to to being around to what the Baba Sali said to him. He's, he's, he's amongst us. Yeah. All right. So if he's here, guys, that means that we need to really be ready. We need to yeah. up our game. This is it. This is this is the the last the last uh, mile, as they say in the, in all the marathons, or the last part of the the fight. Like this is this is where this is the the darkness before dawn. You know, this is the climax. So if we're in that, if we're meritorious to be the Achris Karaishis, to be the the generation that welcomes Mashiach, we really have to like get ourselves in our game. And uh, not allow all the distractions. Another thing, the year can be used positively of Sumerah to get rid of a lot of negativity, to get rid of the baggage. But don't forget the Asetov. Yeah. We can't. Kindness, be kind. We can't just about. be trying to get rid of the bad. Yeah, that's, you know what? Because if Chabad Shita is, just by doing some. Just so do much it. Good, just do good. Just doing good. You just don't have time do for good. bad. That's right. That's the Asetov, Asetov. Just, <laughs> that's in the way the most powerful form of running away from bad is by just doing good. And that spreads light in the world, shares light. And that's and what Just One Chesed is doing. We're creating sure. a movement. We're creating a movement of Chesed, of just doing good. And again, we've said this so many times. Any update of any specific projects? There's something, you know, the Mill for Heroes, I'm sure it's in full swing. And I mean, the Mill for Heroes is yeah. going as strong as ever. We now have Chibuk Giborim, where we're, we're raising money for pairs of tefillin oh. to give in honor of yes, yes. some of the fall, uh, fallen soldiers. Uh, but but more, it's we're 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 kind of getting back to basics to pre-war to a certain extent, where uh, we're going out into the high schools, and we're getting them to do acts of chesed. We actually we we received a bunch of requests for tactical gear, more more uh, more chest plates and more helmets, and uh, we, we're now starting a campaign for flashlights. There was a bunch of units who said they need flashlights for the middle of night so they could put on their uh, on their rifles, so it, the need is there. There's always stuff going on. We're always doing chesed, um, but but it has to be something that we incorporate into our daily lives. 
So, like, and, and we say, what chesed have you done today? Right? It's funny, I talk to the Israelis all the time, and I say, just one chesed. They're like, right? just one? I'm like, just start with one. Right? Just start doing one chesed. And, you know, mitzvah goreret mitzvah, chesed goreret chesed. So, Bezrat Hashem, we should all be zoche to be doing our chesed. Remember, like, um, even the sphere, it's like day by day. That's right. Step by step, kindness one, by kindness. One at a time. A process. And we get, what do we get to? Like the Kabbalah Sultor is coming up. You're excited to the ultimate day of Chesed. Like it's, it's, it's a, the biggest gift you can get is the Torah. Right. Biggest gift. We, we have all the milk kicks, the, the milk and the Chalav and the idea of the Chagid, the Baki Chastecha, the kindness that that day brings. That's the, it brings the ultimate kindness. So we have to realize we're part, a whole uh, building of everything we do is built on kindness. It's right. all about that. And I'm actually very excited because right, like after here, I'm heading out to a base, not right away, oh, but uh, podcast, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm doing a podcast with one of the soldiers on the base. It's going to be awesome, and it, and then we're talking about chesed, yeah. and we're, we're going to be talking about you know what what uh, Alea Shalom Lucy D used to do with her family. Oh, sure. You know they 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 would sit down together. I don't know if it was a dinner or on Shabbat. I don't remember exactly what it was, but the, she used to ask each one of the children, "What chesed did you do today? What chesed did Hakadosh Baruch Hu do for you today?" And what chesed has someone else done for you today? So I'm going to sit down with one of the uh, one of the commanders on Amazing. the base. And we're going to go through that today. It's going to be in Hebrew, uh, and I'm going to try to get some subtitles on the bottom so I can wow. share with the world. Bezrat Hashem. Good times. But, uh, yeah. Thank you, Hashem, and thank you for listening. I just want to say thank the people who've helped me also. I'll do my booking, Unity Bookings, and then Chesed next week. I have a big event in London that only through Chesed is it going ahead. You flying out? I'm not flying. I managed okay. to get Rudy Rochman over there. Oh, nice. And uh, he'll be speaking in a program. So it's, it's amazing that Chesed keeps the world moving. So keep being kind and have no fear. We will win this war completely. Okay. And we need to know that it's all for the sake of the goodness of humanity. B'nai Yisrael and Hashem Yisrael. Amen. Amen. Be blessed. Share on, please. Thank you. Come again.